That's so great. What a great question. Matilda. Matilda Wormwood. At CBC Kids News, we're known for our would you rather questions. Do you want to try? Yeah. Yeah, toes. Would you rather spend an hour in the chokey or be thrown by your hair? And um, be thrown by my hair. I think I'd like to be thrown by my hair. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Chokey, chokey scares me too much. Chokey scares me and might result in facial wounds. See if that child is still alive. Would you rather be really, really good at math or have the power to move things with your mind? Oh, that's such a good question. Power to move things with my mind, please. Move things with my mind. Yeah, yeah. Superpowers are great. <laughs> It is too early for you. Miss Honey, I need to show you something. Now, last one. Would you rather have to eat a whole chocolate cake in five minutes or have a new in your shirt for five minutes? A whole chocolate cake. You don't think you get a stomach ache? Mm, probably not. <laughs> I'm absolutely fine with the newt in my shirt. Yeah, I think the chocolate cake would just make me way too sick. I think we would be sick. And actually, I don't like chocolate cake. We all were so sick of the smell of chocolate at the end of Bruce eating the chocolate cake and poor Charlie had to eat it and then spit it out and eat it and spit it out. But he still, of course, ended up eating an awful lot of chocolate. Miss Chunchable, she's dangerous. Eat. Eat. Were you ever afraid of Emma Thompson while she was in the Miss Chunchable costume? Because she's pretty scary. Yeah, when I first met her, she wasn't in her costume. And then when I saw her in, it was intimidating, but it was, I knew that when she started talking that under all the prosthetics in the costume, down there, there was Emma. And it was like two completely different people when we were working together. There was like, when they said action, she'd switch into the character of Miss Trunchbull. And then when they'd say cut, she'd switch back into Emma. And she was so kind. I gotta know, I saw you and Alicia at the premiere and she speaks so highly of you. But what was it like when the camera rolled, have to play such a mean character and be so cruel? Well, it is of course my job. And <laughs> um, and it's also we're very good fun playing somebody very cruel, um, especially if that's not your natural bent. Although maybe it is, who knows? Um, but Alicia was so fantastic to work with and she just gave as good as she got. So I could be yelling at her with all my might and she wouldn't quail, she wouldn't flinch. She stood her ground. She was the most wonderful acting companion to have. And I love her very much. No! You just said no to me. In Canada, this movie comes out around Christmas time. What do you think would be under Miss Trunchbull's Christmas tree? Mm, probably Cole. <laughs> yeah, I think she's on the naughty list for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so great. What a great question. A replacement bullwhip, um, a pair of really huge, really scratchy, like woolen socks, mm -hmm. and um, certainly nothing to do with baths. So she's, I think, her hygiene is regime is very poor. Criminals like you need a real lesson. What message do you want kids to take away from Matilda the Musical? I think that like whatever age you are, if you're an adult, if you're a kid, if you're going to see this movie with your family, um, I think no matter what age you are, you can take away to be brave and have lots of courage like Matilda and just to be kind and loving um, and to stand up for what's right. Definitely, because you know, kids have lots of power, right? We can do anything. Yeah. yeah.